four, five. Testing one, two, three, four, five. Am I live? Oh, I think I am. Um, okay, so it looks like I'm into this. So the last couple days, um, about two, two, three days ago, I was working on, uh, maybe four days ago, I was working on Team Affinity 4. And I was saying, you know, I wish I had in my Team Affinity spreadsheet the ability to create lineups across all the divisions. Uh, in my current spreadsheet, I had the ability to create lineups just for that division. This is AL East we're looking at here. I had the ability to do that um, because, you know, I have the data in here. So, for example, if I wanted uh, Brian Roberts at second, I wanted Lou Gehrig, except, you know, except, uh, for example, and then if I, you know, I could put up my batting order and they would go in and it would show um, that. I had it so I could do it by division, but um, when I was working on TA4, I wanted to work across multiple divisions so I could get more things done. It, it, if you do uh, Team Affinity, you know that you don't have enough cards to fulfill a, a fill a whole lineup. And I was putting uh, just regular cards that weren't affiliated with Team Affinity in those empty slots. And now, granted, I would do like an AL, AL East team or AL Central team, whatever I was working on. I would use a card from that division, but still I had cards sitting off to the side that needed to be worked on that I wasn't working on in other divisions. So I just had this nagging feeling that I wanted to create a lineup where I could do across divisions. And so that's what I did here, is I created um, a tab in the spreadsheet where but it'll sort by division or by uh, position players in their division. So, for example, let's say uh, let's say I have um, Let's say, for example, I have these cards. Now, when I go to um, this lineup, you can see that it self-populates uh, the cards that I have. Um, and so now I can make a lineup. So for, let's say, catcher, I have Mike Zunino, Zunino uh, in the AL East. And at first base, I have a choice of Don Mattingly, Yandy Diaz, Tony Clark, Lou Gehrig. Uh, if I want to stay with AL East, I will pick Dan uh, Don Mattingly, Yandy Diaz, or Lou Gehrig. Um, for second base, I have Brian Roberts staying with AL East. I don't have anybody at third base I haven't earned, so I would have to stick a card in in that slot. But say shortstop, I don't have any AL East players, but I have two AL Centrals, so Bobby Witt or Luis uh, Aparicio could go in there. So for example, so now I can work on other cards in those slots, just chip away at their missions that need to be done. Let me go back to here because this is for Team Affinity 5 and I actually don't, I haven't even started Team Affinity 5 because I'm still working on Team Affinity 4. Um, so I don't have any of the Team Affinity 5 cards. But I wanted to uh, show you how this worked, um, how this spreadsheet uh, comes together now. So I wrote, uh, or I have a little um, box here that says step one download the api database so i did that this morning um you can see i'll bring it over here in a second let's load it up and there it is so here's the api database that i downloaded this morning and i don't keep all of the columns as if you've seen any of my other videos you know that i take out a lot of columns uh, that aren't necessary so this is the unique identifier, the name of the card, how rare it is, what team they're on. This is an abbreviated team, their OVR, the series the card is. Series text and series year, um, I don't ever do any searches on those, so I don't need it. 
the position, the secondary position, jersey number and age. Sometimes they have missions for those, but in this case, there are no missions for that. So I don't need those columns. Height, weight, and where they're born. Again, there's no missions that have any of that, so I take that out. And then I come back down to the end because this is all their attributes in between. And at the end here, they have links for pictures and ranking and this and that and quirks. So I take all that out because none of that's, and then um, is sellable. I keep it, not because I do any searches on it, just so I can go to the database if I want to look at a card and say, hey, can I buy that card real quick? So this is pretty, this is the database right here. And then what I do is I will sort it by name. I'll sort it by name. And so the, now it's sorted by the card name, as you can see right here. And then what I do is I take that. Here, let me just dump that. I don't need it. Um, and I put that, I copy and paste that into here, uh, into this database here. So I have that. And um, so that's step one. Download the API database. Remove the unwanted columns. Copy the results to the data ta database table. I, I did that this morning. Um, and then step two, add cards. Add the OVR, the card name, or the player name, either way. The series the card is. The section. Um, in the divisions, you have the cards will belong in different sections. Captain, for Team Affinity 5, it's Retro Finest or Boss is where they would go. So uh, enter the section they go, the, go in and then the order. Um, and the only reason I do the order is because when you get that summary screen for rewards that tells you everything you've accomplished after you've played a game, it's in a certain order that it gives it to you. And it's easier when you're sitting here um, tallying up what points you've earned for what card. Um, they'll be in a certain order and you don't have to hunt and peck and search for them. So I, so I added a field here for the order that the cards are in in the program. So that's the order. And then as I get a card, then you just hit have. It, whenever you earn a card, you can just put have. And then it will show up as owning it here, and it will show up in what I call the X play or cross play lineup where I could do cross divisions. Now let me go back. Now what I wanted to do was I wanted to enter a couple of divisions, the last two divisions. I've entered everything so far, um, as you can see here, AL East, AL Central, AL West, NL East. So I was going to enter the NL Central and NL West just so um, I could have um, a video here showing how easy this is and how it works. So you can't see what I'm doing over on my monitor or on my game, but I have uh, MLB The Show on up and running. And I can pick the captain's cards here. Now the f for NL Central, we have 95 Ryan Sandberg. He's a captain. It goes in the captain's section and I'll save the numbering for later. Now, Mike Cameron, Freddie Peralta, Bill Mazeroski, Giovanni Gallegos. Oh, I didn't capitalize that, did I? Giovanni Gallegos. Okay, there we go. So these are all 95, so I can copy and paste that, and they're all captains. They all belong in the captain's section. And these cards are uh, in the packs, in the order, um, when you do a preview of the pack, they're in the order that they are in the program. So I'm one, two, three, four, or five, and I'm done there. Now, see, so you can see right here under Mike Cameron, I have an error that didn't show up right. And why is that? Well, I didn't spell his name right. Cameron. And then now you'll see it populate. Um, and under the type of mission and how many points or what is needed in the mission, and, it's, and you can see it shows up as done 
Um, that's what those columns are. I can I'll scroll up real quick so you can see. So tasks, what's left, and done. Those pop up as being done, but that's only because I haven't gone into the tab for NL Central and put that information in yet. So there's the captains. Now this goes this goes faster when I'm not trying to show how it's done. So now I have the retro finest or the bosses, if you will, and they're 99s. Uh, first one is Billy Williams. It's the finest card, and it goes in the boss section. Next one, Ken Griffey Sr., Paul Molitor, Jameson Talion, and Matt Holiday. I see I didn't spell Molitor right, so that will bring up an error. So 99s, they're all 99s. So we copy and paste, they're all finest. They all go in the boss section. And one, two, three, four, and five. And Jameson Tallison. Okay, I misspelled that. That's what I get when I don't look when I'm typing. Sometimes things get out of order. Okay, so that's the bosses. Now we can go over to the retro finest. And the first one is 99. Justin Steele, uh, 2023 finest and retro finest. Okay, next card, Matt. Matt McLean, Corbin Burns, David. Bednar, Nolan, Corman. Yeah, put an extra character there. Okay. So these are all 99, so we can copy and paste that. These are all 22 through finest and retro finest section. And one, two, three, four, and five. Again, I made a mistake here on Corbin Burns. It's not Crobin. It's Corbin. There we go. Now, I know it's a mistake because the unique ID didn't come up. And then in the database that you download, uh, every card has a unique ID. And so um, when it doesn't pick up that unique ID, I know I made a mistake. Okay, so that's the NL Central. Done. Entered. Now we can go over to the tab, and I can put in the moments. And I'll skip down. We have Man of Steel. McLean is a machine. Burning up. Bednar rests on saves. And Gorman's power gear. Now, what's the requirements? So, Man of Steel is two innings, no runs. You got a pitch. McLean's one extra base hit. Two Ks, no runs, and two innings for Corbin Burns. Okay, there we go. Bednar, two Ks, no hits, one inning, zero runs. Let's mark this out a little bit more. There we go. And then Gorman's power gear is one home run. Okay. So that's entered. Now we can go over to um, the Captain Stat Missions. We have uh, total bases that we need for Ryan Sandberg, and we need 10 of them. Mike Cameron, total bases, we need 10 of them. Um, Peralta, we need strikeouts, and we need 9. Mazeroski, we need total bases, and we need 10 of them. Gallegos, we need strikeouts, and we need 5. Okay, so um, when it comes to the PXP missions, all pitchers have 350 required. Everyone else has 150. For TA5. Um, and these are all one. Oh no, there is one picture, but we'll just override it. 
And here's the picture. Okay. So that's the missions. And now if I go back to the card, you can see now it has populated this and it doesn't show that they're done because I've put that information in. So that's the NL Central. I've um, When I did the ALEs, the very first tab, I did the reward. I'm not, you can't see it. I'm no sense of going up there. I did the reward path. I typed it in and then I just copy and paste it across to all the other um, tabs because they're all the reward paths are the same. Um, the only thing that's different is you know you're getting your captains for each division or whatever. Um, and so now that's done. So now we'll do the NL West. Now you can see it's all empty uh, except for you know the reward path. Let me go back to NL Central. You can see here um, this stuff populates as well so that when I want to make a lineup just for this division um, I have all the cards uh, that I have available to use uh, for those. So let's go to the NL West. We'll go to our TA Cards tab and we'll go over to the NL West Season 5 Captains. Okay, 95. Kelly, he's a captain. He belongs in the captains. Okay, now we have Justin, Lawrence, Evan, Phillips, Sander, RTS, and Monte Urban. You can tell I haven't practiced this at all. This is all cold. I'm just doing it. Um, without practicing it beforehand, so as you can see my fingers are not up. Now see, you can see, um, again, if you look in columns uh, K and L and M, you can see there's zeros and X's uh, because I haven't populated uh, what the mission requirements are on those tabs, but that'll change when um, I do that. So those are the captains. We'll go now to the retro finest or the bosses. We have 99, Robbie Ray, Todd Helton. Oh, it was a, a spam message that came in, someone chatting. Oh, what I do here? Todd Helton. Yasmani, Randall, JTV, and Brandon Belt. And those are all 99, so we'll copy them down. They're all finest, and they belong in the boss section. And five, oh! Yasmani Grandel, I didn't spell right. Yasmani Yas. Money. There we go. Perfect. So now we'll go over to the retro finest, or not the retro, the 2023 finest. Yeah, the retro finest section. And we have 99. Zach. Gallon. Nolan Jones, oh, come on. Nolan Jones, Freddie Freeman. Oh, I got to spell that right. Not Fetty. Maybe I should slow down. Kim and Logan Webb. I wonder if he'll get the Cy Young. He's up for it. I don't think he will, but yeah, you never know. He had a pretty good pitch in there. Um, or was it rookie? No, he's up for Cy Young. Uh, okay, so this is retro, uh, 2023 Finest, and it goes under Retro Finest. Oh. Gosh, my fingers. There we go. 
and paste it and one, two, three, four, and five. So now we'll go to the National League West. Go down to the moments. Oh, get out of this. Uh, we have Zach's pitches, Zig and Zag. No one doesn't miss. Ready two bags. Sion. Him. Caught in Logan's web. I think one of these days they're going to do a Logan's run thing on him. But we'll see. So, Zach Gallon is 4Ks, 0 runs. One hold and run for Nolan Jones. One extra base hit. Two hits for Freddie Freeman. One stolen base and zero cut stealing. Nice song. And Logan Webb is three Ks, no runs, and no hits. Okay. Now fly over here, we'll look at the captains, and we have saves, and we need two saves with Justin Lawrence, wait that was my, they reversed them, they reversed them, okay so since they reversed them now I can go, uh, Lawrence is one, Kelly is two, There we go. Now let's go to the NL West. So there we go. Lawrence has saves and need two. Kelly has strikeouts. And we need nine. Phillips I need saves two. Total bases for Bogarts. Ten. And total bases for Irving, and that's 10. Okay, we need 350 for him, 150 for these, and 350 there. Um, here, here, and here are all 150. Here and here are 350. We'll uh, automatically adjust the columns, change the widths automatically, and there we have it. And so now I just entered two divisions. Um, I spent, I've been on the, I've been streaming now for 23 minutes. I did two divisions plus I explained a lot of stuff. So it probably took 15 minutes maybe to do the two divisions. So you're probably looking at an hour to set the whole thing up and then uh, it's ready to go. So for when I start getting cards, then I can put in the cross play um, and that's it, it's all done. So that's what I wanted to do. I just wanted to review the, the changes that um, I uh, made to this Team Affinity spreadsheet and just highlight some of what I've done. I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, I hope it inspires you to play MLB The Show 23 and on and before. Go back and play some of the older ones too uh, if you haven't had the chance. Um, and have fun with it. So with that, I'm going to say goodbye and have a great day and have a great game.